guys, so this look that I'm going to do, I'm going to call this my simplified, easy, smoky eye. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. This is something that people ask me how to do all the time. I feel like sometimes it can be overwhelming when you see like all these pretty pictures on Instagram and on Pinterest and a bunch of other things. Like it looks super overwhelming. So I'm just going to show you kind of like a basic easy way that I like to do mine, especially when I was just getting started out. So three things that you need. You need a transition color. A transition color is just simply a color that's close to your skin tone, okay? So when you put the transition color on, you might not see it that much, but what that transition color is going to do is allow you to help the blending process way easier, okay? So you need a transition color, you need a lid color. Any light color that's just, you know, going to kind of give you like a pop on your eyelid. It can be skin tone, neutral, nude, it can have a little shimmer, whatever you want. And then you need like a crease color or a corner color, and that color is always the darkest. So you can use a dark brown, dark uh, black, 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 black. You can use a dark brown. You can use a black, you can use dark purple, it's just anything that's dark, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab my brushes. My main brushes for this will be my MAC 217 brush, my MAC 224 brush, and I'm going to use a Morphe, it's just a pencil detailed brush. And I need a flat brush. I gave my other one to Lauren, so I'm going to use this Urban Decay shadow brush for my flat brush, okay? So, only thing that I've done so far, I have filled in my brows. I use Anastasia Dip Brow in Chalk Chocolate, and I've primed my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, okay? So, first I want to figure out what color I'm going to do for my transition color. And I think I want, I'm going to use, I've been obsessed with this Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I've been using it all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this. So let's, <coughs> yikes, excuse me. So I'm going to use this color right here called Peanut Butter. I don't know if you guys will even be able to see it, but it's just a very light color. Yeah, probably not. And that's going to be my transition color. So I'm taking my 224 brush. And this is going to go, maybe I should zoom in. Caesar, you gotta say hi. Say hi everybody, I'm Caesar. No, oh, don't, don't do that. He's teething, so everything likes to go in his mouth. Okay, ciao, bye Caesar. All right, hand sanitizer. Okay, so again, I'm going in with my MAC 224 brush with my transition color, which is peanut butter. And I am just going to put this all in the grease and take it up. Like I said, the transition color is going to allow you to help with the blending. So I'm just gonna put this in like so. I'm gonna go in with Actually, I lied. Four colors. I'm going to take a color called, tr actually, no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm all over the map today. I'm sorry. I'm going to take a color called Truffled, and it's just like a dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to do the same thing just to kind of help build up that color just a little bit. And make sure you get this just in the crease. Okay, so transition color and then just like a dark brown color. Next, I'm going to go in with my little detailed brush here. Oh, Caesar. And I'm going to use, let's go in. I'm going to use a black color. It's called licorice. And this is just going to go right in that crease. And I'm just following my eye, the natural shape of my eye. Just like that. See? And I like using a detailed pointed brush for this because you can get in directly where you want. And 
and I'm not taking it all the way in I'm kind of stopping like right here and remember there is no right or wrong way to do a smoky eye and there's not just one way okay you can do it numerous different ways and then when I get to the corner I'm just kind of pulling it up just a little bit just following the natural shape of my eye. Next, I'm going to take, and make sure, I have a little like a rag here, this is like my makeup rag. In between colors, I always wipe off my brush. So I'm wiping off my 224 brush again, and now, with that transition color in there, I'm just going over it back and forth, just to kind of get rid of that harsh line in there, so it just blends and looks nicer just right above it. And now that I've done that, I'm actually going to take this black down. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it down here in the corner just so we have a little bit more drama going on in there. See? Okay, so crease and corner, dark. Okay, now next, I'm going to take a shade. Actually, I'm gonna take my 217 brush and just kind of buff that in there some. This brush is a little bit more denser. There we go. Okay, now let's see what color do I wanna use? We can go for it. Okay, I'm gonna take a color right here called Butter Pecan, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid, and I'm just gonna hope that I like it, because that's not <laughs> what I had planned on doing originally. Okay, so I got a flat brush, and I'm just patting it on my lid. All, oh, and again, just pat it on the lid. I haven't played with this color too much. It kind of has a little bit of too much fallout. I'm not really a fan of that, so it's probably why I'm not really digging it like I thought I would be. Yeah, I'm going to change that color. Okay, I'm going to go in with, ooh, excuse me, the color caramel here. It's kind of like a golden color. Yep, better. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I like that. And the consistency of this one is much better. Okay, so now I'm going to take my dense brush, my 217, and I'm just going to go back and forth in here just to blend that out. just to soften that up. And same thing here. And a lot of times when you're blending, especially if you're working with colors that have a lot of fallout, you will lose some of the shade of the color like on the lid. So just go ahead and blend everything in and then just go back in with your color, with your lid color, and add more. Easy fix. So I'm just going to go back in with this caramel color here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, with my flat brush, I'm wiping it off. I'm going to take some of that black color again. And I'm just going to go right up in the crease just to define it some more. And 
and the easiest way to do this instead of trying to freehand and draw like I mean obviously if you're good and you can do that go but it always looks the best when you follow your natural eye shape so now I'm going to take my 224 and just blend that in there there we go Awesome, so let me zoom out a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going in, doing retouches where I need it, from blending and losing color. Even to blend that, let's see, to blend this black a little bit, I'm going to take this Cocoa Chili color here. It's just like a dark brown with a lot of gold sparkle. I'm going to put that midway on my lid just to help, yeah, blend those together. So I lied about my three colors. I'm sorry. But you guys can get the gist, right? Am I in focus? Holy crap. I'm like hardly in focus. Okay. There we go. Now I'm just gonna... And guess what? Smoky eye is pretty much done. I, now what I'm gonna do is, oh yeah, I'm gonna take that transition color again and just over the top here, just blend out that line there. All right, cool, cool, cool. And these, this is, I feel like, good color combination I look good on any skin tone any eye color I mean golds and dark browns and blacks all just look good on everybody so you can't go wrong and when you're feeling funky and edgy you can do the same thing just switch up the colors like I said this is just a very simplified easy nothing too crazy nothing to overwhelm people because I feel like a lot of things just overwhelm people especially if you're new to makeup okay so now I'm gonna zoom out or make an attempt to zoom out There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Precise Felt Tip and I'm going to line as close to my lash line as I can. And this is running out. Caesar! Chill, dude. Okay, so next I'm just going to throw on a little bit of foundation. I'm going to use this Dior Skin Star. No particular reason why. I just haven't used it in probably over a month. So I'm taking that with the only thing I use for my face. Beauty Blender. Whoa, that's too much product. And I was surprised I liked this stuff so much, the Christian Dior Skin Star, because I heard a lot of artists talking about it being like the best foundation for photography. And I must say, whenever I take a picture and I have this foundation on, my skin does look really well. I love that this foundation brightens your face, your skin tone, so that's always a plus. I don't have to put on a huge amount of concealer when I have this on my face because of that reason. Now the only thing is, I felt like this broke me out and I'm not sure if I was just on my period or if it really broke me out. So I'm not on my period right now, probably TMI, but um, we're gonna test this out and see. And I'll get back to you guys 
and let you know. I think that's one of the reasons why I put it down because like I said, I hadn't I haven't used it consistently a lot at all. I got it in November and just played with it a couple of times, but that last time I used it, I felt like I had got a broke a breakout. Okay, so sorry guys, I'm just like anal with this foundation. I always like for it to look nice and thin. I don't ever want to be cake faced. And I have to be careful because I'm oily and you know the more products you put on your face, the cakier you look. Yada 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 XYZ. And yes, I don't go here because I have I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have a really weird thing going on here so everyone's got their issues that's mine but I just own it I don't ever cover it up because I find if I try to cover it up it looks worse so I just let it be it's like a dry hyperpigmentation who knows but like I said I just own it okay next I'm going to take some L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer and just get all up in her This is not good if you have dry skin. If you have brow dry skin, you will not appreciate this at all. I like this mostly if I'm like in a rush and I just need to put on a little bit of concealer under my eyes. This is what I use. Or more so, I like this for um, defining my brow bone because of that consistency. Anything that's a little bit more creamier for, not creamier, but more, I guess like cake-like always better to sculpt out your brows. I can't think of that one concealer by MAC that everyone uses but it comes like in a little like a little thing and you can scoop it out. I forgot what it's called but that's a really good one. Everyone tends to use that but this works just fine for me. Okay next I am going to set this stuff. CoverGirl powder up under my eyeballs so that I don't crease. See, you can tell the difference in my skin from the foundation already. It looks way brighter. I want my Sephora eyeliner. Excuse me, are you growling or sleeping or snoring? And I'm gonna take this eyeliner. It is black as black. How I love my eyeliner to be. Okay, so I got my eyeliner on. Now I'm going to take a flat brush. I have no idea what the name of this brush is. I just know it's from Morphe. And it's really weird because when I ordered my Morphe brushes, like, they came like this, all black with the Morphe thing. But then I got this, and I was like, what the F? I was like, is this like a, a paint brush? But anyway, it works, so we're going to go with it. And I'm taking that black licorice color again. And I am just smoking out my lash line. Ooh. Got my eyeball a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with that butter pecan again. You see how that just kind of like brightens up your eyes? I always like to do that, especially when I'm doing like a really smoked out, darky, 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 <laughs> dark thing going on in the eyes there. It's always so. Of course, this would be a look that would call for some lashes but because I'm me and I just hate going through the process of putting lashes on I'm not going to um, if I was actually going out out then I would but I'm just not a girl that throws on lashes every day if you do that you do you there's absolutely nothing wrong with it me it's just very time-consuming and I'm just like yeah no whatever all good so I'm just a mascara whore and I just throw on about a bazillion coats of mascara and I rock with it now like I said 
if I was going out, then yeah, I would probably do some things, but I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> And of course, I'm just taking that same color I have in the inner tear docks here, and I'm just highlighting it gently with my brow bone because I don't want anything too massive, too aggressive. And my transition color again, just to kind of you know blend everything together, together, together. Okay, sorry. Focus. Okay, so you throw your lashes on. I'm gonna throw some mascara on here in a second. And the only thing that I have to do now is some blush, and I'm gonna do that really fast here. I'm just gonna use my, what is this? Romantic Rose Milani. Light, 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 light contour here. Too much, too much. Yep, you guys see that? <laughs> I'll have to go back and blend that out. I need to get a new contour powder because this is not very blendable. Do, 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 do. I'm taking a flat top foundation brush, but I like to use it as a blending brush. And it's e.l.f. And I love this brush. This is like the best $3 well spent. Not better. Does that look crazy? Does it look crazy? No. No. Okay. And then I'm going to highlight with Milani Red Vino. And I'm totally obsessed with this. Just look. Oh! Beautimus. That you da 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 mama ma must. And da 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 da. Oh, my lips, my lips. Since I'm dark on the lips, sorry, since I'm dark on the eyes, I will go light on the lips. And my inner tear dock needs a little bit more pop of a ba boom, so I'm gonna take my Stila kitten. I've only used this like once. It's pretty. Yeah. There we go. Okay, and I am putting on taupe. So taupe is just like a nude color. Then I'm going to go in with Too Faced Melted Nude. And the reason why I don't wear this alone because on brown skin, this can pop off kind of ashy, make your lips really ashy. So, but this is good when blended together like with an eye, with not with an eyeliner, with like a lip liner or a lipstick. And then I can blend them together that way. All right, and finally all done. I hope that was kind of simplified for you guys. Um, remember, I know I said you only need three colors, and then I did some strange, crazy things in between. Because like I said, once I get going, I get creative. I just kind of changed my mind. But um, you do need three main colors. Again, you need a transition color. That's just a color that's kind of similar to your skin tone. That's going to help the blending process. You need a transition color. You need a light lid color. So anything could be nude, natural. Nude and natural are the same thing. It could be a nude skin tone, it could be something glitter, and then you always want something dark in the outer corner. It doesn't necessarily have to be a black or brown. It can be a dark purple or a dark blue or dark green or whatever you want. But those are your three main things that you need, I feel like, for a smoky eye. And then sometimes if you want to up your game up on your basic eyeshadow, and like I said, you can just take those things and you can just go to the moon and do all sorts of crazy creative things. This is not... The only, this is not the best way to do it. This is simply how I like to do things. Everybody's different. Makeup, no rules. Do whatever you want, wear whatever you want, and rock it out and enjoy it and love it.
All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.